goodness. Every time I take the train, there's another murder. What's happened, madam? Princess! I am a princess by blood, and they only want my blood. Though they think it's blue, it bleeds red. I've checked. Oh, somebody called my doctor. Has something been stolen? Something? Aren't you paying attention? Do you have a memory problem? My treasure, sir. The treasure of the Kuglovs, the noblest of all the Russian aristocracy. They were going to murder me for it. Who are they? Who is who? The people who wanted to murder you, who are they? Young man, your memory is poor. You're lucky you are cute. They are those who will set the world on fire and it will run with blood. Blue blood. That is red. Oh no, this is not good. The train is slowing down. Of course. The Commodore has promised to help me get my treasure back, so he's slowing down the train. What good is being royalty if you can't pull a string now and then? This is getting more and more difficult. I have to find that treasure and get the train back to normal speed. Somebody, somewhere, is out to make my life difficult. A pendulum? That's used to practice hypnosis. It must be the private diary of the princess. That's strange. She writes everything that happened, like a giddy teenage girl or a person having memory problems. Hmm. Dr. Vlad seems to know the princess very well. I can see a very clear prescription for her. Dr. Vlad, just the man I've been looking for. What do you need? Do I owe you money? Princess Kugloff needs you. Her treasure's been hidden. Maybe you can help her. You could hypnotize her. You seem extremely well informed. Who are you? Just a passenger. I came to help the princess and now she's asking for you. Please come. Prince, please walk Concentrate. Look deep into my soul. I, I am in your power. I am a chicken. You are not a chicken, Concentrate. Can you see the jewels? Tell me what you see. The train is slowing down. I am taking... My jewels. Yes, that's good, except for the clock. Where are you putting them? I don't know. They were in my nest. But I moved them, yes. The wagon. Look carefully. Which wagon? Hello, your jewels. Ah, yes, I can smell Garlic! Yuck! Some garlic, eh? Are you sure? What's up, Doc? I've always wanted to say that. Uh, no, no, everything is fine. Uh, my method is slow but effective. And the rancid smell, too. It's like being in a locker room filled with sweaty scones. Yuck! The kitchen. She must be talking about the galley wagon. That would explain the smell. Princess, concentrate. You are in the kitchen. What are you doing? I don't know. I see the hiding place. Mop, mop, mop. 
that hiding place. Wake up, focus. Where is the treasure? Five hands. Yes, we need five hands to open the hiding place. Okay, I'll go to the kitchen. I'm a bit hungry anyhow. So, are you going to help this outdated, obsolete princess? Pardon me? I'd be careful tossing around the word obsolete if I was you. Please, the cavalry will always be vital. She is a crazy symbol of totalitarianism. Sure, we Americans love apple pie and you Brits love kidney pie, but our two countries share many values. Phileas Fogg has convinced me. Did you know him? Yep, and we still do. Can you imagine that we were supposed to fight a duel? I really can't remember why, though. I've got a bit of a temper, you know. I was at Gettysburg. Yes, you have already mentioned it over and over. Hmm. But in the end, we didn't fight. I hadn't recovered from a wound. I have some lead in my buns, a souvenir from the rebels. That I can believe. I must say that I was rather impressed by his courage. Phileas's courage, that is. We became good chums, drinking buds. I've been dreaming about his trip around the world, and we've been in touch about this idea, trying to find the proper sponsor. Maybe you need a hobby. Anyway, in a nutshell, it is democratic values which connect our two countries. I beg you not to search for treasure paid for by the blood, sweat, and tears of exploited musics. Have you ever thought of stamp collecting? This treasure must be returned to the Russian people, its true owners. Believe me, if the common peasants overthrow the Tsar, America will always support them. Russia is destined to become a shining beacon to democracy. How much of what you say do you believe? You have been warned. A button. The princess said that the five hands would be used to press on buttons. If so, let's find the others. <laughs> 